Greetings Photoshop fans, today I'm going to go through the different shape tools that are available for Photoshop CS5. The ellipse tool is a path tool that allows you to create shapes for making paths that can create masks for image manipulation or shapes for graphic design. This tool is just one of a few different shapes tools. I will go over each in a separate video to note their differences, but they all have essentially the same function. Click and hold on the button with a solid rectangle near the bottom of the toolbar, then drag down to the ellipse. Click and drag across the image to create a selection. Now what you can do with the selection depends on your skills with Photoshop. If you are so new that you didn't know Photoshop existed, then your options will be limited until you watch the masking videos that I'll be doing later on. Keep an eye out for them on the Photoshop playlist. If you are somewhat familiar with masking, then the tool will prove very useful because you can create masks with very exact dimensions and specifications. The other shapes will also add to your mask creating options. You can also create shapes with filled in colors and separate layers, but the most common use for this tool is creating masks. Now let's take a look at the above options panel. The first option will be the shape layers button. This allows you to automatically create shapes on your image that will be separate layers. The second button is paths. This allows you to create selections that can be made into masks for image manipulation. The third is fill in pixels. This will simply create a shape that is filled with a color and is uneditable. The second part of the top options panel allows you to quickly swap between different path creation tools. This shows how the pen and shape tools are united as one main function. Using all these to its maximum potential allows you to create very precise and controllable masks, making for very easy photo manipulation. The third part of the tool allows for different options on path and shape customization. You can add path areas to allow for combining paths, you can subtract from a path area, you can intersect path areas, and you can create paths that exclude other overlapping paths. The tool is initially very simple, but it grows in complication and power as you learn to use it more. It is definitely a tool for the patient as you get to know it better, but it will prove completely worth it when you see what it can do. Thanks for watching. You can send any requests or questions about Photoshop to requests at mahalo.com, and please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below.